Hey, I'm down here in the basement. I just got finished changing my all my filters on my reverse osmosis system. I've got the uh, Home Master, the Artesian one, which basically means that it adds minerals into the water before you drink it. It's supposed to be better for you than just straight RO water. The one I have has the permeate pump, which really does make a huge difference. And this Home Master system has the thicker line from the tank up to the faucet. And that also makes a difference, a big difference with the flow. But anyway, what I was curious about is I just changed the filters. It's been about exactly a year. They all say they're good for a year. So I wanted to take a look at the old filters that I took off to see if they were pretty used up. Alright, so the filters from Home Master, uh, the two pre-filters are the sediment filter and the carbon filter. And they both say on them that they are good for a year for 3,900 gallons, which I, mean, I guess I don't really, you know, have an idea of how much 3,900 gallons is. Uh, we use the system a lot. Um, we use it for all of our cooking water. We give the dogs water out of it. We drink out of it. So it's used pretty heavily. So the only thing I kind of noticed after, and it actually was about after eight months, is that it seemed like the taste changed a little bit. And when I figured that it was, is that the artesian filter was probably used up. Um, has much less rating, so like 2,500 gallon, gallons or one year versus the 3,900 gallons of the other one. And it has the thicker line that comes in and out of it. And this is the last stop before it gets to the faucet as it goes through here. So I'm going to cut these apart and see what they look like. See if there's a story to be told by looking at them. Okay, so I've cut them all in half. And we can investigate what's going on inside of these filters. All right, so we'll start with the sediment filter, since it's kind of the first stop in the line. Just cut it directly in half. So inside, there's a just a regular like paper filter element. Let's see if I can get it out of here. Yeah, so here's what's inside. You can tell this started out life probably white, I'd imagine. So, yeah, it looks pretty well used. This is the sediment filter, what it looks like on one half. And it's just out of there. And then here's the other side. So here's what one year of regular use will do. All right, next one in the line is the carbon filter. And it looks like this is just like raw like carbon in here. See? Which is kind of crazy that I mean, a lot of it, that probably comes out in your water. You don't really notice it. But it's kind of surprising that it just runs through there. Just granulated carbon, basically. All right, and now the artesian filter. So it's basically just filled with rock, and it's okay. So there's some layers of some different layers in here. It looks like. I don't know if that's just different, must be just different minerals. So this whole top part is rock, and on the end, inside, there was a little, looks like felt or foam to keep the, to keep it from, that's just a little paper pleated filter in there to keep it from coming out. Probably the same thing with the carbon filter. So, yeah. I was almost expecting this stuff to, to be used up. And it's not. 
so it's making me wonder if the filter was actually at the end of its life or not. I don't know. Anyway, now that I've made a mess, I just wanted, just in case anybody was curious what the inside of these filters look like, there you go. I'm sure other brands are similar.